We've talked about the Dolphins. They are tanking. Guess what they're talking about in Denver today? It's time to face reality. Tank for Tua. That's a column by Mark Kisla. After hope for Broncos season gets lost in the black hole, it's time to tank. Wow. Okay, that didn't take long. I thought that they were going to be respectable this year. But I guess what Mark Kisla is saying... Now, you, I'm not going to blame this on Joe Flacco last night. And you do have Drew Locke as a quarterback that you have a lot of high expectations for. I know that they've had a hard time developing their own quarterback here, but now you're going to tank for Tua? I think, I think uh, Denver is a little too good to tank. Like Miami, they're really bad. And they should be uh, able to tank a little bit easier than Denver. Yeah, Paul. How does Mark Kisla advocate the team tank? Does Because you can't tell him not to play hard and can't tell him not to try. So is he saying trade Von Miller for draft picks? Because that would be how you tank. Let's see. Let's right? see what he says. Let's see. Uh, but with why, uh, eyes wide open, a realist can see the truth about Denver's team that would probably be better served by finishing 4-12 and 12 this season than scratching and crawling to seven victories, which would leave – all the franchise quarterbacks expected to be available in the uh, next draft out of John Elway's reach. Before the kickoff, Elway could be seen chatting up Guy Fieri on the field. Maybe Mr. Diner's drive-ins and dives should be given a shot at quarterbacking the Broncos. Fieri can't throw a football, but at least he can sling some hash. Um... Yeah, the battle cry for the remainder of the 2019 season, tank for Tua. It's a little too late for that. Because you brought in Flacco. I'd like to find out what you have in Drew Locke. Yeah, I know everybody thinks that Tua is the answer here. I, okay. I mean, is, is Jalen Hurts now a legitimate NFL quarterback? Because the newest odds are it's, it's Tua and Jalen Hurts for the Heisman. All, all of a sudden, Jalen Hurts, former Alabama quarterback, is, you know, the, one of the top two candidates there. Yeah, McLevin. I'm down with this take because the Broncos are old. They're like, an, where are they going? I mean, Von Miller's old. Chris Harris is okay, old. How do, you do this? Is old. How, how do you do this? This has got to be orchestrated. There's got to Go be. Go to Drew Locke. I know, but the Dolphins traded Laramie Tunsil. Yeah, you Kiko Alonso. The Broncos don't even have a Laramie Tunsil to trade. They do not have their offensive line is awful. Then trade Von Miller. I think Von Miller might be a little washed up anyway. I'm sorry. He's 30. He didn't sniff Derek Carr last night. No, that's terrible to call him washed up, but he's on the downside, right? I mean even... I'm assuming he is, but if if you want to start tanking, you gotta start tanking before this. You're absolutely right. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna they're gonna special teams defense their way to a few. Von Miller will have some big games, but generally, they, aren't they in limbo? Like you always say, an NBA team shouldn't be in limbo. No, you don't want to be one of those NFL teams that has six or seven wins. You either want to have two or three, or you want to have eleven. And they seem built for seven. Yeah, they might be just good enough to not get a good draft pick, and I think that's what Mark Kisla is saying, but. You already spent, what, a second-round pick on Drew Locke, and you brought in Flacco. I, I'd worry about other things if, if I was Denver. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on VR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.